Why do people never tell me about this cool stuff? Hey, hey, what is going on guys? This is Jason with Jadden Aquatics. Thanks for joining me in the... It's not really the fish room, is it? So I know you guys that have been with me for a long time are looking at this video and going, Whoa, this is an old video. He's in that room again. No, it's not an old video. I'm actually... I'm in the old room again. I, I never actually tore it down. Well, I took the lights and stuff down because uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to use it again, but I decided to, to bring it back again because uh, there's some other things that I want to do and it's a lot easier to do projects like this in here. So that's why you see this alive again. And something else I want to touch on while I'm here, you guys see the, the stickers back here behind me? So what I've been thinking about, the, these are all, okay, I, I own my own print shop, okay? So these stickers are all stickers that I printed for all different channels, probably over a hundred now um, that I used to do. I, I used to do them for free. And so what I've been thinking about doing is I've been thinking about bringing this back again. So if you're a channel and you're interested, leave a comment down below and then eventually I'll make a video uh, on it. Or if you know a channel that you like, that you would love to be able to get some stickers of their logo, be sure and share this video with them so that they can see this so they can let me know. Because if there's not enough people that are interested in it, I'm not going to bother with it. The way I typically do it is I do like 30 or 50 stickers for, for free and the only thing I ask in return is that you put it in a video at some point of an unboxing when you get the stickers in or something like that. But that's an idea. Again, if you guys are interested, leave a comment down below. I'll also leave my email address if you want to email me also. You can email me about it. But today, we are going to talk about doing the back of your tank. So first of all, I have almost 90 tanks in my fish room right now, and every single one of them have at least one side painted, and almost all of them have the bottoms painted. So I have gone through 30, 40 cans of paint at least painting these things. And so, yeah, I know I'm probably late to the party, but I had no idea that people were using this stuff to tint the back of their tanks. It's like a window film or basically a window tint like you would see like for a car. But people will use this in their windows to darken it to keep the light out. And so people are using it on their aquariums. And so I thought, man, this is the stuff I need. Because what's cool about it is it works basically kind of on a static principle and that's what makes it stick to it. And so the cool thing is whenever you're tired of that one or it gets scratched or something, you just simply peel it off. It leaves no residue whatsoever. You cut a new piece, put it on, and now you've got a new backer for your aquarium. So when I saw this, I thought, man, I have absolutely got to have it. And this stuff is super super cheap. I'll link it down below. First of all, you can get it in all sorts of colors and all kind of patterns and all kind of designs. I just got some simple black and this is just like a frosted. Uh, this stuff is like uh, six or seven foot long by like 18, 17 and a half inches tall. It is like eight or nine dollars for this whole thing. And so, you know, that would do, I don't know, 20, that would do, I don't know, 10 or so, uh, 10 gallon tanks at least. And they have it wider too so that you can do bigger aquariums if you want to. So this stuff, this is, when I see stuff like this, this is what excites me. Cool, when people use things that are made for other things and they use them in the aquarium uh, area to save you money and to make things easier, that is what I am absolutely all about. So let's find out how in the world do we actually do this. So the first thing that we need to do is because of the way this stuff seals onto it, you have got to get the glass that it's going to stick to incredibly clean. I mean, very, very, very clean. You can't have any kind of fingerprints or any type of oils or anything at all on it, or it won't stick in that area and it'll leave that weird kind of bubbly look. You never look at someone's car and you see all this bubbly look on, on their thing and you think, oh wow, they didn't pay uh, enough money or perhaps they tried to do it themselves. <laughs> That's what happens when it doesn't stick correctly, when it's not done professionally. And by no means am I a professional, so the chances of me getting this on here and not having any bubbles is about slim and impossible, but you'll get the gist of how 
you do this. So what you want to start off with is, is some type of squirt bottle. Uh, this is water that has about two or three drops of a dishwashing soap on it. Uh, this will help cut the grease and also it'll help when we're putting this thing on to get it to slide and then get it to uh, to stay in place. Uh, the next thing you need is some type of a, a sharp scraping device. I'm going to use a uh, razor blade and then uh, whenever we're putting it on we just need some type of plastic piece maybe like a credit card or just anything you can find that's kind of that's kind of just plastic so that you can push those air bubbles out of there. Then of course we'll need the film, we'll need scissors to cut it and then we'll need you know uh, microfiber thing to wipe off the water and this to wipe off the water also. So you pick the side that you're going to do first of all we'll turn it over like this. This is the side that we're going to work on and then we're just going to we're just going to take it and we're just going to squirt it a few times to get it wet and then we're just going to start working from an area and just and just taking that razor blade and just working it and making sure that we get everything off of it. And you're just going to keep doing this back and forth back and forth until you get this thing completely completely clean so we'll fast forward past this and get on to the uh, next step okay so we got all that scraped off um, also remember try not to squirt this on the inside of the tank because that's eventually going to be filled with water and you know how this stuff is just a little bit of bubbles is going to cause this thing to bubble and it's going to it's going to kill your fish so try not to get that in there if you do get in there make sure you wash it out take it out in the backyard and squirt it all down to make sure that you get absolutely all those bubbles off of there so now we're just we're just drying it now, then taking the microfiber towel and drying this also. You can get away with just a paper towel. You just don't want to make sure you leave any kind of, you know, particles and stuff. You know, sometimes whenever you wipe the tank with one of these, it like leaves these little pieces of paper towel or something all over it. I don't know what it is. Whatever it is, it's a mess. All right, so we now we got it clear. We got it uh, as clean as we want to. Now we need a tape measure so that we can measure it. This one is a nine and three quarter by nine and three quarter. And what we want to do is we want to cut this a little bit bigger. So let's say an inch bigger. So we're going to cut this thing 10 and three quarter by 10 and three quarter. And we're just going to cut it real fast. We're not going to try to cut it perfectly to shape because what we're going to do is we're going to use the razor blade a little bit later after we get it on there to cut it down and to get it to the exact size that we want it. So let's go ahead and get this thing cut down. All right, so I just speedily cut this thing and obviously you can see that it's it's quite a bit bigger than what it is what it's supposed to be and so the first thing you want to do now that you've got this is the backing of this thing peels off and then exposes the uh, static cling side that's the side you're going to want to put against the glass uh, to get it to stick and again it's not there's nothing sticky to it whenever you get this whenever you get this thing off it's just uh it, it just has that a static cling feel to it. Okay, so we've got the piece now where it's starting to actually peel. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the squirt bottle now that we're ready, and we wanna squirt this thing down pretty good, putting it on. Then go ahead and, and completely peel that piece off, and you can just feel the static as it tries to attack me. And so the, the, again, the side that we just peeled off is a side that actually needs to go down. And so what I like to do is I like to find one of the sides that was actually the straight side that I didn't cut and start it right from the bottom and then just make sure that it overlays all the other three sides so that you can uh, so that you can cut it off. So we'll just take it on here and just line it up. And so you can see it, it's just, it's hanging off all three sides, but it's it's perfectly flush with the bottom. And so the next thing we want to do is we just want to take some type of smooth device and uh, just kind of try to get all those air bubbles out. You can use your hand to kind of get it started. It'll slide on, on you some too, so you'll kind of have to make sure you hold it down at the bottom and keep it to keep it flush there. So what I like to do once I've got once I know that I've gotten all the air bubbles out, um, I like to let this thing sit there for 15-20 minutes and let some of that water kind of dry. Because right now it's still it, it'll still move a little bit, and you don't want it moving whenever you cut it. So we're going to go ahead and let it sit here, and we're going to let it dry for a little while. Then we'll come back and work on getting this thing cut. 
All right, it's not really moving anymore. Just so you know that if you uh, if it keeps moving around on you, you won't stop moving. That means it's uh, it's gotten too much water on it. So you need to remove it and kind of dry off some of that water and keep putting it down until it finally starts to have a little bit of stick to it because you can overdo it on the water. Okay, so now you're gonna need your razor blade to cut this thing. Um, I like to take it and just cut it along the edge. Some people will put it like into the groove of the glass, but you gotta be careful because if you get too much into that groove, you're gonna cut into that silicone. So I don't wanna mess around with cutting the silicone and I'm the type that I'm not trying to make this thing look absolutely perfect, so I'm not terribly worried about it. So I'm just gonna get it right up against uh, the glass. And you see how easy it just slices right through it if you have a good sharp knife. Other side, and then the top. All right, there it is. Got the back on. So now it's good to go. See, it's just super, super easy uh, to do it. And so when there comes a time when you're, when you're bored of this thing and you, and you want a different color, what do you do? You just pull it off <laughs> and you can put another one on. This stuff is absolutely fantastic. Glad I found this stuff. Again, I'll link it down below. Thanks again, guys. You guys got any questions or comments, be sure and leave them down below. Again, if you are interested in the stickers, be sure and let me know so I know whether or not we need to do this. So thanks again, guys, and God bless.